Hey, this is Chad with round two. Um, we're coming back. We're going to show you the new product updates for July. So we've got something in every category, model kits, die cast, and slot cars coming out. So we'll just go ahead and get started. All right, so first up for model kits, I know in our last video, a lot of you guys were asking about the Super Boss. So I wanted to start off with that. Um, here is the box with Tyrone Malone Super Boss, and this is a 125th scale. So it's a pretty big kit being a semi-truck, and it'll look really good displayed next to your other 24th, 25th scale cars. Um, basically, this hasn't been reissued uh, in 35 years, and what we've added to this release, uh, we've expanded the decal sheet on it, we've retooled these tires, and they're now pad printed with white letters, and uh, there's a bonus, a bonus print that comes with it and a mini box also. And these actually are available in stores now, but we've sold out of them. So we're doing um, a second release that's coming out this month. So if you didn't get yours, there's still more coming. We're, we're gonna have a lot more for this. Next up, we wanted to show you guys this kit. It's the Mod Rod. And similar to how we did the Grand Prix, we're doing two different versions of it. So you've got your regular, um, your regular model kit and then there's also the original art series with the more original box art on the front of it. And this comes with an art print and it is molded in white. This one's molded in yellow. Uh, some of the cool stuff about this kit, you can build two full Model A's with it. And there are a ton of special features and parts on it. So this is great for anybody who wants to kit bash. Just as an example, um, you can build these Model A's. You've got the body, you can do it with or without the fender assembly, you can lower the top, you can raise the top, it's got the, the four stock, um, or the stock four cycle engine, the grill, everything is separate on it. And one of the cool things, depending on which style you'd like to build it in, we have two types of premium tires for this kit. So there's the pie crust, the Firestone pie crust, more of like a rat rod style tire, and then we have the Goodyear blue streaks, which is more of a drag slick, if that's what you're going for in this one. Also coming out, this is kind of similar. This is one of our um, show rod kits. So we've put out a few of these. Um, we put out Flame Out. We put out the uh, little hot dogger earlier this year. This one's the little gasser. And some of the cool stuff about this, we've expanded the decal sheet, including um, this is a special shell edition. So it's molded in shell yellow and it has vintage shell decal. So if you want to make the gasser into a shell tanker, you can go ahead and do that. Um, I did mention that this is molded in yellow, but it is also a catch the cat kit, which means one in every 12 is molded in metallic red. So that's kind of a cool little chase option for you. This has um, a lot of really cool stuff about it. It's a John Bogosian design. So you've got the blown 427 engine, a tandem slicks, a raked frame, chrome wheels, and the super wide low profile tires. So this we really, really like doing the show rods, so I'm pretty excited about this one coming out, and I think it's a great addition for the rest of them that we've put out this year. Next up for pop culture, <clears throat> we wanted to show you guys, we've got the Bat Missile coming out. You might remember we showed the Batwing in the original 1989 Batmobile. Uh, this is a variation of the Batmobile that was in the second movie, Batman Returns. Um, it's molded in black with chrome parts, and this is... Um, Comes with a full color Gotham City street backdrop and a detailed cockpit. So it's a pretty cool kit to, to put along with the rest of the Batman stuff. <clears throat> and then last off, I uh, wanted to show you guys our two stock car kits that come out this month. So the first one is this Isaac Ford, uh, the Ford Torino stock car. This is pretty similar to the original release, but we've improved the decal art. We've restored some of the parts to it. And uh, we did keep the keep the vintage packaging. So this one hasn't been out in quite a while either. And it's a great classic stock car to build. And we got a lot of guys who like to build the old, old school stuff. <clears throat> and one of the big ones, this is the Richard Petty Plymouth Belvedere. This is the 1964 Daytona 500 winner, which was actually the first Daytona 500 that um, Richard Petty ever won. So the car is pretty famous in that respect. Uh, it includes... The Cartograph decals, which we've mentioned before, very high quality decals. And the decal sheet for this has the uh, the number 43 as well as the number 41. You can build it in a few different ways. And that's about it for uh, model kits so far this month. So we'll just go ahead and move on to diecast. First up in diecast, we've got something a little different than your classic muscle car. This is the uh, 1971 Dodge Demon 340 uh, with the 340 wedge in it. This particular model is um, from the Hemmings Muscle Machine April 2005 issue. 
So it's got, um, it's highly detailed with the opening doors and hood. It's got a uh, opening trunk with accurate interior and chassis, um, heavyweight die cast metal, front wheels are steerable and it has a fully detailed engine. So this one, something different. We thought it was a really, really cool release. Second up for a 118 scale, we've got another Mopar for you guys. This is the 1969 Dodge Super B. This is the John Petrie drag car. Um, John Petrie was a legendary Canadian drag racer, and he was actually the first Canadian to break the 11, 10, 9, 8, and 7 second barriers in the quarter mile. So this um, is a great piece of drag racing history. It's got, same as most of our cars, opening doors and hood, detailed engine. The front wheels are steerable with uh, accurate interior chassis and trunk, and it's all heavyweight die cast metal. Hoping that'll be, that's another great addition to our 118 scale line. Um, and moving on, speaking of legendary drag cars, uh, talking about some of our new slot stuff, this is our newest slot release. This is the Legends of the Quarter Mile, um, and it's our newest four-gear set. So these are based on our four-gear chassis, which is uh, a longer chassis with the bigger rear, rear wheels, um, good for drag racing. So we've got four releases in this. This is the Brand X 1973 Ford Mustang Funny Car. We've also got the Jungle Jim 1970s Chevy Camaro funny car. Then there is the 1970s Plymouth Cuda funny car, the damn Yankee. And this um, this Cuda is actually a new tool, so that's that's a cool one for us. We'll probably be putting out uh, a few other Cuda drag cars in the future as well. And the last one is the Don Schumacher 1970s Plymouth Cuda funny car. So those are the four... The four car release and we'll have some more stuff coming up uh, next month in slot cars as well. So that's everything we've got for the July Spotlight and of course there's more stuff if you want to go on round2corp.com you can see our full releases for July and if you're wondering why I'm wearing a Hot Rod Power Tour shirt we've actually started a partnership with Hot Rod Magazine and there'll be an upcoming Johnny Lightning release. So if you want to find out more information about that, go to facebook.com slash johnnylightningfans, and I'll go ahead and put the link to that below. Thank you.